Recently I did a video where I tried using welding thermite to cast a blade shape in steel. The basic idea worked in the previous video, but I used a lousy mold and the piece came out somewhat misshapen. Today I'm going to try the lost foam casting method, again with welding thermite. So here I have some sand prepared, I have a mold frame, I have a uh, foam piece prepared with a pour and two risers, and I have a piece of 4 inch steel pipe lined with refractory cement that I'm going to put my thermite in to set it off and hopefully get a lost foam casting. The thermite I'm using is welding thermite. It happens to be a composition where the resulting steel is hardenable. Let's give this a try. Here's a close-up look at welding thermite. It has a lot of additives in it that to uh, the normal orange-colored military thermite doesn't have. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, steel balls in here that get uh, melted by the thermite reaction. The result of this is uh, a lot of liquid steel is formed, and what's interesting is it's a hardenable steel. There's also a lot of flux in here because it forms a uh, slag on top of the steel that's very similar to what you get when you stick weld and then have to uh, chip the slag off your welds. I've now prepared the mold. The lost foam piece is well packed into the sand. Next thing to do is set up the uh, thermite crucible on top of the mold. I've now set my refractory lined steel crucible thing on top of the mold. I'll go get some thermite and igniters and fill the crucible with thermite. Then we'll take this outside and see what happens. Got my thermite and an igniter for it, so let's go outside and set up. I filled the crucible with thermite and the igniters in place, so let's zoom back out a little bit and uh, light this. Here goes! The reaction seems to have completed, and it appears steel went down into the mold because I have red-hot spots where my two foam risers used to be. Better give this about 15 or 20 minutes to cool down before I start prodding at it with the tongs. Here's a look down inside the crucible as things cool off. It seems I used enough thermite to fill the mold. I lifted the crucible off with the tongs and I'm going to allow the rest to uh, more cool down time. As you can see it's still uh, pretty hot there.
Here's the casting just lifted to the top of the mold. Now it cooled enough to break it free with the tongs. There's still a lot of uh, sand stuck to it. The piece cooled down. I finished wire brushing it and I've given it a quick wash in the rain barrel. It did seem to cast fairly evenly, but what I've noticed is as cast I have a very large crystal structure which uh, isn't the best thing, but I can probably normalize this in the forge, which I'll do, and we'll see what happens. But I will at this point to cut the risers off. Here's a quick look at the piece after uh, the risers have been cut off, and it's been ground a tiny bit. What I'll have to do in another video when I have my forge fired up and running is normalize this and then see if it's possible to forge it into shape without it uh, cracking or breaking. But that's all for today. I'll stop at this point. Thank you for watching and of course there'll be more videos to come.